bringing the president back to this because yesterday he said, you know, I don't, I'm not doing a photo op. Right. Uh, let's put aside for the fact that this is one of the most canny and skilled photo op presidents in history. We can put up some of his his greatest hits, yeah. but that's fine. He's not interested in a photo op now. But do you agree? It seems to me yes. like he is exempting himself from the political process here. Do you agree with your Democratic congressman, uh, Henry Cuellar? that the president has been aloof and detached on this. Would you like him to be m more of a leader down on the ground there? I actually don't agree with my colleague and friend. Uh, I do think that he's been completely engaged. You know, I absolutely believe that if the president went to the border today, that there would be a ton of criticism that, look at him, it's, it's a photo op. He has put a proposal together. Now, we have to see what's going to happen within Congress, but there is a concrete proposal on the table. And then, ironically, you know, the, pre the president is also criticized for the rise in deportations. Right. So right. if you look right. at the increase of money that has been put on the border, I mean, it's increased in the last over 10 years 350%. And some of that increase has certainly been under uh, the Obama presidency. Well, even Paul agrees that the so president probably should have he... <laughs> gone to the border. I, I mean, this I is beyond politics. I, I do, but also I think Congressman Flores will agree. Well, let me just ask you, mm -hmm. which president has presided over more deportations than any other? Well, from what I understand, President Obama. But, Bing. Okay, but, that's five points. No, I'm not Let's gonna, keep going. No, no I want to say I'm t testing your truth. But, 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 but what has that solved? Which, I mean, which, president, uh, which president leads the Border Patrol at the greatest strength, the most number of people we've had in the history of the Border Patrol? Which president would that be? Well, it'd be President Obama, but the question Bing. is how Ten points. have they been? <laughs> how so, so now you're going to ding that you're going to attack the Border Patrol. But, but can, no, can, I, can I just say something? Thing, because really, if we had border agents uh, and every few feet on the border, right. it still would not solve this particular right. problem. Because you have young people coming to the border looking for the border right. patrol, mm -hmm. saying, here I am. There were interviews with young people that said, oh, I was so happy when I saw the border patrol because they feel like they're going to be rescued. Yeah. So we have to go to Central America to address this problem. And I'm not saying that it's our complete responsibility, but to get at the root causes, that's we right. know that yeah. this is not just about people coming across. Right. So, well, yeah, and, and, and let me and let me just let me just ask both of you. I, I think Republicans, when it comes to immigration, putting this crisis aside, just in general, Republicans have unreasonable expectations. I also think Democrats have unreasonable expectations. Are you willing, Congresswoman, mm -hmm. to lower your expectations a little? Maybe meet. Republicans halfway to get something done on immigration, say, say legal status instead of a pathway to citizenship? Well, first of all, I am always willing to meet my Republican colleagues. Bill and I we have great relationships. Together. We've uh -huh. served on the budget committee yeah. together. So I believe that we can do that. But I really do, I, what I don't agree with is having a permanent second class citizen or a second class person in our country. And so to say that it can't ultimately be a pathway to citizenship, I have a problem with that. But the legislation that's proposed, it would take a person 10, 15 years to get there. 